What's up, you jive-ass turkeys, and welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a fabulous black exploitation horror flick lined up for us. It's William Crane's 1972 ultimate classic. It's Blackula, and guys, this one is actually a really good horror flick. Let's just dive into this little gem. Here is Blackula. Blackula is a fabulously funky black exploitation flick which delves into his vampiric cinematic world in the most unique of ways. Simmering in 70s style and overwhelming and abundant atmosphere, this is one horror production that honestly surprises with its genuine approach and unfaltering groovy nature. When it comes to outrageous horror, Blackula is a great twist on the lore and mythology of Dracula, and with a stellar cast and expressive visual eye by director William Crane, it's a beautiful cinematic gem that is as fun as they come. The film follows an African prince named Mamawaldi, who after having an encounter with the legendary Count Dracula, is transformed into a creature of the night dubbed Blackula. Reawakening in 70s Los Angeles, he vows to reunite with his long lost wife Luva, who now seems to have reincarnated in the form of the beautiful young Tina. Bound by a love lost in time, Blackula falls in love with the mesmerizing Tina but is forced to continue to kill in order to satisfy his insatiable thirst for blood. Will their love survive, or is this timeless courtship doomed to die? William Marshall takes on the larger-than-life role of Blackula, the sinister blood-sucking fiend with a soft spot for true love. Marshall is sensational in the film, as he takes a commanding presence in every scene he appears in. Truly brooding and outstandingly intimidating, he takes the film by storm, injecting a heavy dose of macabre wonder and unsettling verve, which absolutely ignites the screen. The most surprising thing about William Marshall's performance, though, is how sympathetic it is. We are given ample opportunity in the film to get to know the character, and through these instances, come to find that he really is just a hopeless romantic. One with a big heart, but even bigger appetite for human blood. It goes without saying that he completely owns the film, mind, body, and soul. The rest of the cast is comprised of a wild assortment of characters who help bring all of this wild madness into being. The true standouts of the production, though, are Vonetta McGee as Tina, the reincarnated beauty from Blackula's past, and Thalmus Rasulala as Dr. Gordon Thomas, the inquisitive hero who's determined to get to the bottom of Blackula's sinister plans. Both actors do a wonderful job with the material with Vonetta McGee looking absolutely sultry as the focus of Blackula's undying affections. All in all, the cast is stupendous in grooving into the vibe of this wild cult classic flick. The real standout aspect of the flick, aside from the great characters, is the tremendous horror elements of the production. From its ravenous depictions of the vampire ghouls of the picture, to the movie's unsettling visual style, the film is a wondrous collection of haunting sights mixed with retro cool music that fused to make a rather unorthodox yet extremely enjoyable cinematic ride. When it comes to unexpected flicks, Blackula is right up there at the top of the pack. In its exploitative approach, it creates a cinematic world which is surprisingly disturbing, yet at the same time magically entertaining in its wild premise and even stranger combination of urban horror and 70s style. Cool to the max, Blackula is a real treat for obscure movie fans. It's got unsettling horror, funky tunes, and a treasured cast of interesting characters. And that's all you really need in a true cult classic film. When it's all said and done, Blackula is a classic blaxploitation flick, which is a true vampiric masterpiece. And there you have it, you funky freaks. That is the great blaxploitation flick, Blackula. Just an ultimate classic and just an ultimate horror film, if you ask me entertains me every time I watch it and it's just truly a good good flick 
So check that one out if you haven't seen it before. But guys, unfortunately, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed that review, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you at the next movie review. Take care.